Hello boys and girls, guess what time it is? It's story time! Hello boys and girls, this is Miss Marcia reading to you another story. It's story time, it's story time, you haven't got to pay a dime. If you want to have some fun, get a comfy seat and sit right down. Now listen very carefully, for you can learn as much as me. Make believe in what you hear, these stories I shall read to you. La 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 And our story today is Arrow to the Sun. And it's a Pueblo Indian tale, and it was written by Gerald McDermott. Arrow to the Sun. And it's a Caldecott Award book. So what do you think this story is all about? Hmm, good guess. Long ago, the Lord of the Sun sent the spark of life to Earth. It traveled down the rays of the sun through the heavens and it came to the Pueblo. There it entered the house of a young maiden. In this way, the boy came into the world of men. He lived and grew and played in the Pueblo, but the other boys would not let him join their games. Where is your father? You have no father. The boy, they mocked him and chased him away. The boy and his mother were very sad. Mother, I must look for my father. No matter where he is, I must find him. So the boy left home. He traveled through the world of men and came to corn planters. Can you lead me the way to my father? He asked. The corn planters said nothing, but continued to tend to their corn. The boy went to pot makers. Can you lead me the way to my father? Asked the boy. Pot makers said nothing, but continued to make her clay pots. Then the boy went to the arrow maker who was a wise man. Can you lead me to my father? Arrow maker did not answer, but because he was wise, he saw that the boy had come from the sun. So he created a special arrow. The boy became the arrow. Where do you think he's gonna go? Arrow maker fitted the boy to his bow and drew it. The boy flew into the heavens. In this way, the boy traveled to the sun. And he's going. When the boy saw the mighty Lord, he cried, Father, it is I, your son. Perhaps you, were my, you are my son, the Lord replied. Perhaps you are not. You must prove yourself. You must pass through the four chambers of ceremony, the kiva of lions, the kiva of serpents, the kiva of bees, and the kiva of lightning. The boy was not afraid. Father, I will endure these trials. He is going through everything. That's the lion, so he's at the serpent. Next. When the boy came from the Kiva of Lightning, he was transformed. He was filled with the power of the sun.
The father and his son rejoiced. Now you must return to earth, my son, and bring my spirit to the world of men. Once again, the boy became the arrow. When the arrow reached the earth, the boy emerged and went to the Pueblo. The people celebrated his return in the dance of life. The end. If you enjoyed the story, please like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Thank you. My team and I take pleasure in bringing to you these beautiful stories. If you like to support us, you can go to Patreon and support us there. But if not, just continue to enjoy these stories. Thank you.